Howdy guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we talked to Zelda, who is now sleeping in that room over there. Yeah, I was totally pointing at that. That room over there. And, um, she told us we need to return to the present and do everything that we need to do. So, let's go ahead and do that. I don't exactly remember what we need to do, but I think it's like, destroy demise or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she said. Pretty sure. And so now we're going to have to find out how we're going to have to kill Demise. Because he is one. One mean boy. So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish Demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the Goddess. Sadly, that is all of we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Beaver, you have likely come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out all the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Beaver. Find the Triforce. Whoa, whoa, hold up there. Beaver, there's something I gotta tell ya. And what would that be, Gruz? So Zelda, how's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? Uh, actually... That's terrible. It's gotta be so hard for that poor girl. But you're gonna do something about that mess, right? <laughs> you bet your pompadour I am, Gruz. Beaver, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly and there's work to do here. Someone's <laughs> got to watch that big ugly monster, and someone's got to make sure Granny's doing alright. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess, but I don't just love the way- Oh, don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? It's not weird to say. Check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in the soil like this. I'm totally not foreshadowing. <laughs> I mean, it's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So, yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell I'm happy, all right? Thanks, Beaver. Well, that's just great. Bruce has turned a new leaf, and now he's a dandy person. But I think we should head back up to Skyloft so we can go play that song of... I mean, we're not playing a song. We're not playing a song at all. I'm not even foreshadowing more than Bruce is. I'm... I said nothing. We're gonna go get the Triforce. <laughs> I almost just spoiled a huge plot thing. I mean, it's not, like, huge to the plot, but it's something we're gonna be doing for, like, 15 parts. And I'm talking about it more, which is probably the stupidest thing I could have done in that situation. Oh well! Oh well, who cares? I'm not gonna catch those birds. I'm not good at catching birds. Um, we are gonna head back to Skyloft now. But not before getting this one random beetle. I'm just gonna pick it up, because why not? Have I picked up one of these before? I think I have. Woodland Rhino Beetle? Yeah, okay. Eighth one. Definitely pick those up before. Ooh, I am losing frames. Ooh, that is not gonna be good. Computer? C computer? Oh, okay, there we go. It stopped dropping frames. Well, if the audio is desynced right now, I'm so sorry. My computer just randomly drops frames. I think it might actually be my Dazzle, because my Dazzle is almost two years old. Probably about a year and a half, actually. I may have just made a little bit of hyperbole there. Um, but it seems like it drains fr drops frames. Drains? Frops? Yeah, that's... That's totally English. I don't even know what English is. I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit. As we head back to the sky to go find that Triforce thing. No, I want to return to the sky. I was pointing to the right. Rights. There we go. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah. Crimson Fairy away! Alright, good. Um, alright, there should be some chests lying around here that I have not gotten, or there are absolutely no chests that I have not gotten. 
Actually, I want to check how many heart pieces we have. How many heart pieces do we have? We have one, which means there are seven more in the entire game. Oh, wait. There are a lot more, actually. Three. Eleven. Eleven more heart pieces in the entire game. And we are actually kind of close to the end. Not really close, but kind of close. So, I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of side quests. I should probably look up the rest of the side quests that I've missed out on. Because there are a lot that I just don't remember, slash don't know, I guess. Be the best way to put that. Okay. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, I think we should talk to Headmaster Gabora first. But for now, I'm going to head into the bazaar and see if there's anything that I want to upgrade. Because I don't think there is, but I'm going to check anyways. Because why not? Okay, let's see what I can upgrade with Gondo. If there is anything I want to upgrade. Let's see. Quiver, Beetle, Shield, Beetle. Beetle. No, can't upgrade the Beetle. Uh, quiver. Can't upgrade the Quiver. Um, don't want to upgrade the Shield anyways, but just want to see. Alright, whatever. I don't care, Gondo. I don't have enough treasure for you. Uh, let's see. Huh. This guy's not here. So that means there's one thing we can do, which is help out his trouble, which will get us five gratitude crystals if I'm not mistaken. So, um, we should be doing that soon, going and helping the crystal ball dude. Because he does have a side quest. A really short side quest, just for gratitude crystals. Why do I keep taking that out? I don't need to take that out. I just keep hitting the B button by accident. Alright. Well, I think we should talk to Headmaster Gabor, because he might know something about this whole Triforce business. Or maybe he doesn't, I actually don't know. I completely forgot. There's a side quest we can do over here, or a side mission, really, because it's not a quest. Um, involving Fledge, but we'll do that later, because it gives you a heart piece, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to check, because if it doesn't, I am not doing that again. Uh, or I'm not doing it in general, because it is fairly annoying. I'll show it off at least once, either way. But for now, is there anything on top of that roof? I just have a sinking feeling there's something up there. Oh, well. And that one Sheikah Stone, the one purple Sheikah Stone, is still over there, and we have not talked to him. And I'm pretty sure he just shows you, like, some sort of secret or something, like the, um, that one weird Sheikah Stone in Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting Fledge did not fall in love with Korean. Because you people are horrible, and you don't care about true love. That happened in an alternate timeline. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, we can talk to Headmaster hey. Gabe Bora. Ah, oh, hello, Beaver. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't. Hmm, I guess I understand. I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. Beaver, I have been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice for that matter, but I wish to help you out as best as I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being useful, too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any question, any question at all, about Skyloft or its history, I'm glad to let you know anything. Uh, actually... What do I know of the Triforce? Beaver, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts made several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of these tones. Its whereabouts are lost in memory. Sorry, Beaver. It shames me to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. Uh, okay. Do you know anybody who does know anything? Um, okay, apparently not. Well, that's certainly unfortunate. Beaver, just a moment. Wait, do you actually remember something? Though, there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as a protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic. To be put it mildly, if anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be where? It'd be him. <laughs> talking. Yes, I feared that you might be your next question. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently, I've heard I've heard rumors, not suggestions. I've heard rumors suggesting that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Owlin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there's any truth in these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Owlin can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you speak with him? Alright, that sounds great. 
We have not seen Leviathan the Thunderhead. The Thunderhead is where the Isle of Song is, and we've gone there several times. But, um, Leviathan is not there yet until after you talk to these people. Specifically, Instructor Alvin. Ah, oh, Bieber. Oh, wait, you're not the Gabor dude. You're not the Headmaster Gabor. Um, you look pretty enough. Ah, oh, Bieber, how goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias? Oh, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias that we all know. That's a monster. It certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes are full of malice. People change, or old wizened creatures change, rather. Perhaps it's more that he's possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, at least. And even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it would likely end in you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say could possibly make you do anything otherwise, or whatever he said. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Uh, oh, is this what I think it is? <sighs> I think it is. Levias is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. Didn't you just say this like five seconds ago? If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, there's a chance he can return to his senses. Listen well, Bieber, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Oh boy, tutorials. I love tutorials, and this game loves tutorials too. You want to know how to do the, the spinning attack? Oh, oh, get ready, because this is brilliant. You press the A button. You press the A button. I don't understand why I have to have a tutorial on how to press the A button. You know what this does? It replaces your regular charge. There is no reason that I should have to do a tutorial for this. Yeah, he just said, press A. Press A. No, nothing else. Just press A. It's okay. I need a tutorial. You see, you see this button right here? Oh my god. How hard is it to press that? I, I have not pressed that at all during this entire quest. Now I have to figure out how to press it. See, look at that. It goes the same distance. All you do is a spiral charge. It's an attack. I don't see why they can't just say, Oh hey, you learned it. It's good. So we have to go through this stupid target minigame. This is one of my pet peeves. I really don't like this target minigame. But it's not too hard, as far as I remember. You just gotta break every single time, every single time, every single target within the time. Uh, so it's it's like you're playing Super Smash Bros, but on a bird. So uh, yeah. Did I mention that I don't like this mission? Oh, okay, I did. Did I mention how stupid it is that they have to teach me how to press the A button? Shouldn't Fee teach me how to press the A button? It's simply a job. Cause she tends to do stupid stuff like that all the time. Oh god, I barely got that. Alright, if this could come back... Alright, good. Ah, okay. The only problem with this is that your thing does not charge up quite as quick anymore. It seems like when you get this attack. Which is really stupid, I might add. Because you don't go any further or anything. It's just you do the spinny thing. And it lets you attack things a little bit better. Like, we could kill those... The, everything in the sky that we need to kill... We could already kill- oh, okay, you don't need to crash every single target, I guess. But ten is certainly enough. Oh, you bet your ass I did. Alright, it's great. Yeah, so Crimson Furry is quite amazing. Um, you know, if you could just shut up and let me go on with my day. Oh, okay, that's great. Um, he says let's go to the Lumpy Pumpkin. The Lumpy Pumpkin owner is very familiar with Levias and, uh, does something special for him every single year, so we should probably go talk to him, or at least fly to the island and end the episode because we're at 14 minutes, which is quite long for me. See, now we can press the A button to a spiral. I needed that whole tutorial to find out how to do that. Wait, where's the Lumpy Pumpkin? Um, that is over there. So that is in the opposite direction. I'm falling the wrong way. I think it's over there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see it. It just feels weird flying like this when you do the whole A thing too, because most of the game you fly and you do the whole charge forward. 
I don't know. It's just I think that's one of the stupidest parts of the game. I don't like the bird mini games. The two that they have, the one with Bruce and the statue and whatnot, and then that one right there. I don't really know. Flying my bird does not feel extremely fun. It's not bad when I'm just going to the place, but I don't know. I'm just going off on a really stupid rant here. I don't know why. Ignore me. I'm stupid. Um, but for now... You know, we'll actually talk to the Lumpy Pumpkin, dude. I was gonna land on top of the Lumpy Pumpkin, but apparently not. Uh, I think this is the door that leads directly to him. Which is great. Uh, yeah, it is, okay. Whoa, that is ginormous. What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. You suddenly got much fancier. My voice suddenly got much raspier. <coughs> oh, that feels better. Levias, what about him? Sure, I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin of my pumpkin soup. But lately, a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levias, huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but if that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make Levi's the best batch of soup ever. You wait right there. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never shipped before. That was quick. Viola, here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over ten years, and I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I've ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. And he will fly through the roof, probably. Oh, they don't even show the animation. But I assure you, it was amazing. Oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you to wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Zzzzat. How was that going to fit through the door? I'm sure it was amazing as well. Just like that first animation. This place where I offered the soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud, and on an island where there's a rainbow. So go check that out. Alright. Well, that sounds just wonderful. But we will be delivering the pumpkin soup to that wonderful rainbow in the next part. So, I will see you guys then. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.